Father, we thank you, God, that you are today, you are forever the same, God, today and forevermore, Father. We thank you, God, that you're always willing to speak to us, God. You're always willing to rain down upon us with your blessings and favor, God. And we pray, Lord, tonight that more faces come, more people come, Father, that we see new people, Father, that we bring our friends and family together on tonight, Father. And so we bless you, God. We thank you for who you are. We thank you for being glorious. We thank you, God, for being forgiving, God. We thank you, Father, for being here, surrounding us with your Holy Spirit, God. We pray your Holy Spirit rain down upon us, God, of all ages, Father, that you speak to our hearts, God, that you, we are willing and open to hear from you, God, that we're willing to open and hear from you, Father, in your voice, God, that you're speaking to us, that you have plans for us, God that you have uh, greater intentions for us, God. We thank you, Father, that your plans are bigger for us, God, that they're not to harm us, God, but they're to prosper us, Father, whether we're in high school, middle school, God, whether we're college age, Father, we thank you, God, that you haven't forgotten us, God, that you have greater plans in store for us, Father, that you have careers and different jobs and paths, God, that you're uh, going to put in our path, Father. We thank you, God, that you're bringing together all of us, Father, and we pray that every single one of us is uh, receptive to your word, God, that we're receptive to hearing your spirit today, God. And we thank you, Father, that you're bringing us together, God. We pray blessings over each one of us today as from the youngest to the oldest, God, from our leadership, Father. We bless our leadership. We bless every youth and young adult, God. We pray your Holy Spirit speak, Father, and do something tonight, God. Miracle signs and wonders tonight, God. We pray your salvation come tonight, Father. We pray your salvation come to those who don't know you, Father, those who have drifted away from you, God, those who don't remember how far away they were, Father, but we pray that you bring them closer tonight, God. We pray that you bring them back, Father. We pray them back into the kingdom, God, because there's nothing more of God that we want, Father, than you. So we pray we pray connection, God. We pray closeness to your Holy Spirit, Father. We pray deeper, deeper connection, God, with you. We pray deeper relationship with you, Father. We pray more, 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 God. So speak to us tonight, God, as we're here willing and open to hear what you have to say, Father. Bring us deeper and deeper into your relationship with you, Father. Let us speak uh, with words of uh, affirmation, God, just affirming what you have in store for us, Father. We thank you on tonight for everyone that's showing up, God, even those who are coming late, God, that you bring them, Father, that you bring them and that they bring other people with them as well, Father, that more youth and young adults will be here, God, that they will spread the word, Father, that more will speak, God, more will speak of this event, Father, and how they were touched, God, how they uh, made new friends here, God, how they had communion with one another and they made uh fellowship with one another god we thank you father for the miracle signs and wonders on this day father we thank you god that you're always moving god that you're always moving on this day and uh, every other day father we pray blessings over our youth and young adults god that you open their hearts father you open their hearts to be receptive to you god we thank you lord we bless you father we pray a uh, blessing over this sanctuary over this over this building god we thank you father that we'll have brave young men and women speaking your word god speaking and quoting scripture father speaking those words that they have been uh hearing father from the pulpit god that they speak lord and that they are not ashamed father that they're not ashamed god to preach your word to speak your word to share their faith god we pray that they're not afraid to share their faith amongst friends amongst school god whoever with with they're hanging out with father that they're not afraid to share father that they know you that they have a relationship with you god so we pray that deeper connection in your spirit god deeper relationship with you that you take us deeper god and that we get to know who you are as our father god that we get to know who you are father even if we don't have mothers or fathers god or any other uh parental um person in our lives god that you speak to us god as our father god that you're the father to the fatherless father so we just bless you on this day that you're going to speak to every young man every young woman god that is here today father that you're going to be praying we're going to be praying for everyone here god and we pray blessings over them we pray hearts are open minds are open god that minds are renewed in Jesus' name, God. We thank you, Father, for that. We thank you for transformation. We God, we thank you for uh, stepping into our new season, God, being propelled into our new season, Father, being propelled into our realm, God, that we're activating our gifts in every youth and young adult, God. So we thank you in advance for the miracle signs and wonders, Father. We thank you in advance for the young people that are going to be speaking, that are going to be uh, delivering others, Father, that are going to be activating their gifts, God. We thank you, Father, for touching everybody here, that they're going to be 
that they're going to be overwhelmed by your spirit, Father, that they're going to be overwhelmed by the good news that they're going to hear, God, and that they have been hearing, Father. We pray every, uh, every person here, Father, from the youngest to the oldest, God, be transformed, be hearing new things, Father, from you, that their deeper connection, God, deeper relationship with you. And we thank you, we bless you, God, because you're always good. You're always faithful, Father. You're always good, God. So we bless you, Father. We bless you, God. We thank you, God, that you're speaking now, God. You're speaking now, and you're going to speak tomorrow, Father. We thank you, God, that you always have a word for us, God. We thank you, Father, that your word is always with us, that your Holy Spirit is our comforter, God. Your Holy Spirit is here to speak to us, God. Even when we're alone, God, you're with us, Father. Your Holy Spirit is with us, God. And so we thank you, God, that you're removing all uh, spirits of distraction, God, all depression and oppression, God, in our young people, Father. We thank you, God. We bless you, God, that you're replacing those things, God, with new life, Father. We thank you, God, for new life over them, resurrection, God, salvation over them, Father, in Jesus' name, God. We thank you that you're removing all of those distractions, God, all of those distractions and those soul ties and those relationships that we don't need, God. We thank you, Lord, for removing them, Father. We thank you for that relationship, that tie with you, God. We thank you for that tie with you. We thank you for that bond with you, God. We pray, Lord, that that bond doesn't break, Father. We pray that it just increases, God, as we get to know you, Father. We bless you, God, and we thank you, God, that you can do all things, God. You can repair all things, Father, that we have lived through, all the pain, God, all the different heartbreaks we've had, God. We thank you, Lord. We bless you, God. We thank you because you can repair everything, God. We thank you, Father, for speaking to us tonight, God. We thank you for opening our hearts, God. We thank you for even what it says in Scripture, God, that let it not... Uh, let us not be um, looked down upon, God, just because of our youth, Father. Let us be examples to other people, Father. Let us be examples to our younger and our older siblings, Father. Let us be examples even to our parents who are unbelievers, Father. So let us be and let us speak, Father, your word. Let us speak your word, God, and let things happen. When we speak, God, when we pray for something, let it happen, God. Miracle signs and wonders on this day, Father, that we speak, Father, and that things will happen, God. When we pray over healings, miracle signs, God, that they will come to pass, Father. We thank you, God, that we will speak in our youth, God, that we will dedicate our youth to you, Father, that we will dedicate our years to you, God. We'll dedicate our life to you again, Father. We thank you, Lord, for renewing our minds, God. We thank you, Lord, for renewing that mind, God, of old ways that have passed, Father, old habits that have died out, God. We thank you, Father, for new life, God, new life in us, Father. So we bless you on tonight, God, that that new living water flows from your throne, God, and that flows into us, Father, flows into our spirit, God, flows into our mind, Father, that you renew us, you transform us, God, that you give us bravery to speak, God, we pray bravery over our young people in Jesus name Father we bless you we glorify you God we glorify you Father we bless you we thank you for who you are God we thank you God that you're working miracles on this day God we're thanking we bless you Father that you're always good that you're always faithful Father we bless you God we bless you Father we bless you God because you're always good you're always faithful Father, no matter how far we run away from you, God, no matter how far away we are, God, we bless you, God. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, God. We thank you, Father, for renewing us today. We thank you for transformation on this day. We thank you for salvation, new salvation on this day, God. We thank you, Lord. We praise you in advance, Father. We praise you in advance, God. We thank you. We bless you, Lord. We thank you that your transformation is here. Your salvation is here, God. That your son has come, Lord, not to condemn us, Lord, or for commanding us to be perfect, Father. But we thank you, Lord, that your son has come to offer salvation, to offer forgiveness, God, to offer redemption, Father, of our sins, God. So we thank you, Father, for that death on the cross, that through Christ we are saved, God. We bless you, God. We thank you, Lord, for your blood that has been shed for us, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that we have that gift, God. We have that choice to accept salvation. We have that choice to change, God. We have the choice to repent and turn from our sins and choose to live for you, God. It's not choosing to be perfect, but it's choosing to live for me, live for you, God, and recognizing our mistakes, recognizing our shortcomings, God. And we
we thank you that you're always there, Father, to pick us up, God. We thank you that when we're weak, you're strong, Father. We thank you that when we're weak in our temptations, God, that you're strong, Father. So we thank you in advance for helping us through the tough times, God. We thank you in advance for helping us and being our friend, Father, when no one else is our friend, God. We bless you, God. We thank you for who you are, Father. We bless you, Lord. We thank you, God, that you could do all things and that you're going to move and do all things in Jesus' name. Salvation will come to this house in Jesus' name, to every youth and young adult in this house. In Jesus' name, we bless you. We bless you. We glorify you. We glorify you, God. We bless you in advance, Father, for who you are. We bless you, God, because you are King of kings, Lord of lords. In Jesus' name, God, we thank you. We bless you. We bless you because you're always good. You're always faithful, God. We thank you, Father, that we can endure all things through you, God. And by your strength, God, by your strength, we can do all things through Christ. In Jesus' name, we bless you. We thank you for delivering us, God. We thank you for transforming us, God. We thank you for letting your salvation fall and rain on this evening, God. And we thank you for Sunday, God, that we're, we'll, we will return, God. We will return, and we will return our friends, God, and we'll hear the word and be transformed. We'll be poured into again and be transformed. We bless you, and we thank you, God. We thank you for what you're doing on this evening, God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, amen. Hello? Hallelujah, God. Ooh, I'm so excited. You guys excited? Okay, y'all might not be excited yet, but I'm excited, okay? We gonna, we, you gonna get to my energy. You gonna get there. Father God, we just praise you right now. Oh my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Flow in this place, Jesus. A new thing, God. You are the King of kings and the Lord of lords. You are God Almighty. You are closer to us than a brother. You are everything. You're, you're my motivation and you're my goal. To be more like you, to be with you, to be in your presence. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lord, I thank you for keeping me. Lord, I want everybody else to be blessed, but I'm a just, it's going to be me and you right now. I am so thank you. I thank you for keeping me. <laughs> Lord, there's been plenty of times where I could have made just a slight turn another way and been taken out. There's been plenty of times where I could have made a choice that I made and I would not be here right now. And so I thank you, God. And I'm excited for what you're doing because I see how you're blessing me. And I pray, Father God, that everybody here sees how you're blessing them. That they see how good you are. That even if you don't do not one more new thing, which you will because you're a God of multiplication, that you're still, the, you're still a great God. You're an even if God. Even if this doesn't work out for me, I still worship you. Even if I don't see tomorrow, I still bow down at your feet. We bow down and lay our crowns at your feet. And we cry like the heavens, holy, holy, holy. Because that's the type of God you are. My sister in the back said you reign forever. That's what she said. You reign forever. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, I'm so excited because you're so good. And this week has been crazy. This week has been crazy. And I know I'm not the only one in here where this week has been crazy. And COVID's hit us hard. And now these new things are happening that they're trying to scare us with. But that's the type of God you are, that you're good even if. You are magnificent, holy God. And the first thing in order to do is just to praise you. Just to bow down and submit to you and then to watch you work and to see what marvelous miracle thing you're gonna do today. 
whether it's one person, a thousand people, a million people, 20 people, you are that type of God. And they're not at my energy, they're not at my level yet, but they will be. Because you move, your spirit moves us. So I pray, Father God, that you change the hearts in here that are hard to, to, to flesh, God. That they feel you, that they know you personally for themselves. That they get to know the goodness for themselves. I pray that everybody who came in, in here with expectation is just filled. That you fill them up. Oh, shaytanarabosh, shata. Jesus, I thank you, God, that, that in my weakness, because I've struggled, and this season has been a struggle, that your strength is made perfect. That's when you shine, because we know how dependent we are on you. And I pray that you gather me up, and that you hold me, that you call me daughter, and you comfort me, and you love me, and you're kind. You give me peace in a storm when I shouldn't have it. That you give me joy that the world can't take away. Because that's how good you are. I thank you that you are more than enough. That your crumbs are more than sufficient. That the little you give is more than enough. That you are always here. That we don't got to worry about a thing. Stevie Wonder thought he wasn't original, but he's not. We don't got to worry about it. That's what your word says. We don't got to worry about it. Because that's how good you are. You are gyra. You are more than enough. You were good back then, thousands and thousands of years ago in the word, and in those stories that are real. And you're here. You're that same God today for us. And I pray that as young people that we get to move and express in a new way that only our generation can show you in. That you reach us in a new way. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We just thank you, God. Oh, I'm so juiced. Ooh, thank you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jaira, you're more than enough. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Jaira, you guys know that song? You are enough. Jaira, you are enough. And I will be content every circumstance Jaira you are enough Jaira you are enough oh Jesus Jaira you are enough and I will be content with every circumstance be more love than I am right now. Wasn't holding you up, so there's nothing I can do to let you down. Doesn't take a trophy to make you Yeah. 
We invite you to stand with us in worship. Come on, stand I to your feet. Be content in every circumstance. Jaira, you are enough. Come on, tell him, Jaira, you are enough. Jaira, you are enough. Jaira, you are enough. content in every circumstance Jaira you are enough forever enough you're always enough you're more than enough you're forever enough you're always enough you're more than enough you're forever enough you're more than enough, you're always enough. You're forever enough, you're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever, e forever enough, you're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever, forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever enough, forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever, forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever, you're forever, forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever enough. Forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever. Forever enough, you're forever enough. You're always enough. You're forever, you're forever, forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. You are forever, forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always 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 enough. You're forever enough. Forever enough. Forever enough. Forever enough. Come on, lift your hands and tell them you're forever. You're forever enough. You're forever enough. You're forever enough. I don't need nobody else. You're forever enough. You're forever enough. You're forever enough. My healing life. You're forever enough. You're forever enough. You are more than enough. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. You are more than enough. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. You are always enough. You are always enough. You're always enough. You are always enough. You are always enough. Always enough, you're always enough. You are always enough, you're always enough. You are always enough, you are always enough. You are always enough, you're always enough. You're always enough, you're always enough. You're forever, you're more, you're always enough. You're more than enough, you're always enough. You're forever enough, you're forever enough. You're forever enough. You're forever enough. You're more. You're more than enough. You're always. You're always enough. Come on, let's lift our hands and tell him. Come on. You're forever enough. You're more than enough. You're always enough. 
Come on, lift your hands toward heaven, close your eyes. Enough, and come on, tell him he's forever. More enough, he's more and he's always, always enough. enough. He's enough for me, he's more enough for you. Enough, come on, tell him. More than enough, you're always enough. You're forever enough. Forever enough, you're more than enough. You're always enough. You're forever, you're forever. Forever enough, you're the same. Enough, yesterday. You're always enough. Today and forevermore, forever enough, you're the same. You're Today, enough, you're more than enough. Forever and forevermore, forever you're enough, the same. You're more than enough. Today, you're always enough. Forever and forevermore, forever you're enough, the same. You're Yesterday you're and enough. today and forevermore, you're the same. Yesterday. Today and forevermore, you're the same. To yesterday, today and forever, forevermore, you're the same. Yesterday, yesterday, today, today and forevermore, forevermore, you're the same. You're the same. Yesterday, yesterday, today, today and forevermore, you're the same. You're the same. Yesterday, yesterday, today. How many of you tonight know that God is enough for you? I don't have that many people who know that God is enough. Can I help you with something? Take a deep breath. Take a deep breath. That is God that is with you. Now blow it out. That is God that is with you. He is your air that you breathe. He is the song that you sing. When you wake up in the morning, it's not because you heard your alarm clock. It's because God is still breathing through you. He still has his hand on you, and he's giving you another day to give him, to tell him thank you. He's giving, him, giving you another day to worship him. He's giving you another day to give him glory. He's giving you another day to raise your hands and say, God, I thank you for this day. He's giving you another day to tread upon the enemy's head. He's giving you another day to clap your hands. So that's why we say, Jaira, you are enough because God is our everything. He is our all in all. We can't move without him. We can't breathe without him. We can't do nothing without him. And so that's why we're singing, Jaira, you are enough. Come on, one more time. Jaira, you are enough. One more time, say, Jaira, you are enough. Come on, give your God a hand of praise. Come on, give your God a thunderous praise. Come on, give him thunderous praise. Father, we bless you. Father, we give you glory. Father, we honor you. 
All of you that are sitting down, come on, stand on your feet with us. Come on, stand on your feet, stand on your feet. Y'all are young, we can do this. You can, we can get moving. Come on, let's move our legs, move our legs, move our feet. Come on, move them right where you're standing. Kick them out if you have to. Now, come on, let's do a little spiritual calisthenics. Let's lift our hands toward heaven. Now put them down, lift them, put them down, lift them, put them down, lift them. I didn't say put them down. <laughs> Keep them up. Now let's clap them for our King of Kings. Come on, let's clap them for our Lord of Lords. Now open up your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, open up your mouth and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. This is a new day. This is a new dawning. This is a new season. Come on, tell him, thank you, God, for my new. Yesterday is old and today is my new and I'm stepping into my new season. Come on, tell him, God, thank you for my new season. Everything that I struggled with yesterday, even the stuff that I struggled with on this morning, when you came into this building, it fell off of you. And that is enough reason to give God praise right there. God, thank you for those old things falling off. Come on, tell him thank you. Thank you, thank you that those old struggles are behind me. Come on, tell him thank you those old struggles are behind me. And I'm moving forward as you have given me to move forward. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless God. Bless God. Bless God. Bless him. Hallelujah. 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 Are you all excited about being here tonight? Yes. It's a Friday night. We could have been doing a lot of other things, but you've decided or your parents decided for you, which is okay also, that th you would be here tonight. Amen. I'm going to ask our youth, if you are under 18, if you would come forward, please. Come join me here in the front, please and thank you. Uh -huh. If you are under 18 years old, please come and join me over here in the front. Thank you so much. So you all can sit over here all together. Amen. Awesome. Thank you so much for joining me up here and not leaving me by myself. Amen. We have wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things in store for you tonight, ready for you tonight. Um, I'm just trying to, sorry, I'm surveying. All right, we have, we have amazing things um, in store for you tonight. So I want you all to keep your mind and your hearts open, okay? Open for what we have. It's not the normal, the normal church stuff that we're doing tonight, all right? So I want you to keep your mind and your hearts open to what God has for you tonight, all right? So be attentive, ask questions if you need to, all right? But enjoy yourselves. We're all going to enjoy one another, all right? So we have a very special guest tonight, a very special guest, um, a friend, a sister in Christ. Um, sister Shalene Huey Booker is here tonight, and she's going to be sharing with us um, how God has given her to share. Amen. And so we're going to embrace her and love on her and learn some new things in God. All right. You all excited about that? We're going to sing another song first and, and do a little exercise. You guys remember the old days of the choir, huh? Actually, we're going to stand. Let's go ahead and stand. And so I want you guys spread out across here. Go ahead and spread out. All right. All right. So I know we have some flaggers here, so you all know how to move, right? So we're going to move together. Come on, sing, I will bless the Lord. I will bless the Lord.
I'm gonna give you what you, what's yours. I got caught up, I'm a little old, okay? Not really though, don't get me twisted. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 Y'all got it? You got it, boo? You got it? Do it for me, say it. He said, no, nah. he said, no. Nah. No, don't do that, don't do that. Let's try it again. Let's see if everybody can do it, you ready? Here we go, say it, say it. I'm gonna give you what's yours, I'm gonna give you what's yours, I'm gonna give you what's yours, I'm gonna give you what's yours. Y'all got it? Watch this, I'ma slip up the beat, stay there. Everybody go here, go. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 Hey. Everybody lift it up, say. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 You know he deserves all the praise and more. Y'all know that, right? I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 Yeah. One more time, let me hear you say, say. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 Switch it up one more time. Here we go. This praise is all yours, Lord. Yeah. Yeah. This praise is all yours. Yeah. Yeah. Said this praise is all yours. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. This praise is all yours. Yeah. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 This praise is all yours. Yeah. Yeah. Here it is. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 This praise is all yours. Praise. Yeah. This life, yeah. it's all yours. Yeah. My worship, yeah. it's all yours. Yeah. My lifestyle, yeah. it's all yours. Yeah. My desires, yeah. it's all yours. Yeah. My will, yeah. it's all yours. Yeah. 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 That's time. Yeah. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 This praise is all yours. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give you what's yours. 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 I like it. This praise is all yours. It ain't for TikTok. It ain't for IG. It ain't for the reels. It ain't for the likes. It ain't for the folks. 
It's yeah. all for the one who gives me breath every day. He gives me breath every day. Gives me breath in my body. Gives me breath every day. Gives me the activities of my limbs. That's who it's for. That's who it's for. That's who it's for. I don't need the clout. I don't need to be the most popular. But my life has got to give him praise. Anybody agree? Yeah. All right. It's on me. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on and give the Lord a hand of praise. Come on. Hallelujah. Now, this is youth and young adult. Amen. So I want all the young adults, if you're under the age of 35, I want you in the center as well. If you're under 35, all of the youth and young adults. Hallelujah. We have a mighty woman of God on tonight that is going to minister truth. Amen. And so we give God glory for Minister Shalene. Hallelujah. She has such a beautiful anointing, uh, not only as a minstrel and a psalmist, but also apostolically to release and to equip. And so I want you to prepare yourselves, all of the youth and young adults under the age of 35, because I want you to get ready. This is generation greatness. Say we are, we are. generation greatness. greatness. Come on, declare it again. We are, we are. Generation, generation greatness. greatness. Come on, declare it on tonight. I want you to give God praise as she comes. Come on, Minister Shaleen. God bless you, woman of God. We honor you on tonight. We honor your gifting. I didn't recognize you when I came in. These masks don't let us recognize anybody. But we're so grateful that you're here and that you're with us. And I know that you have much to share. So we're attentive. Are we not? We're all attentive to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say. God bless you. Thank you so much, Apostle. All right, I am so excited to be here with you all. So I'm assuming that everybody right here is under the age of 35. Is that what it is right here and right here? Okay, just, just making sure. Okay, cool. That does not mean that everybody else won't be able to be involved, but we're going to minister directly uh, to these young people. Now, here's what I need you to promise me. And if you can't promise me this, <sighs> auntie gonna have to go back to her seat and just chill out. All right. We are transforming this moment into a safe and sacred space. Everybody got what I mean by that? So there are some things, um, parents and guardians and things, we want for God's complete will in this moment, the way that he wants to do it to be done. Is that all right? And that means that um, it may not come across as just a, a preached word. That's not what I'm here to do tonight. Um, but this is going to be a night of being interactive. We're going to stir up some gifts in all of you. We're going to do some creating. So that means... See, now I got, now I got, auntie got, auntie got his attention. Now he's like, man, whew. So I thought she was about to preach. I was about to say, oh man, <sighs> I'm tired of this old church. I know that's what you was really thinking, like that little boy. No. Did you know that um, God has, he's the source of creativity. Did you know that? He is literally the source of creativity. That means that. Every creative work, whether it be dance, rap, singing, drawing, um, graphic design, gaming, God inspired someone through Holy Spirit as a means of creativity to create everything. Check this out. You know... The chair you're sitting on, did any of you think about it before you sat down? Did you like go? Did you 
test it out? Nobody did that, right? Because you trusted that the chair you were sitting in was going to be just fine because it's creation that was made a long time ago. You don't even think about it. But in actuality, some hundreds of years ago, people would have looked at that as something really odd. They weren't used to these, these types of things. But it took creativity for them to come to be. Does everybody understand that? So tonight, we're going we're gonna to dive into some of those things. And parents and, and um, Apostle kind of gave me uh, a little bit of liberty. What I, what I really want you to do for me, there's some questions I'm going to ask them. And I pray that they will be completely honest with us. And my heart's desire and I say this really, really loosely, is that there will be no penalties for the things that they say. Amen. Amen. I know you've raised them in the church, and I know that they've been around the church, and I know that you've instilled some things into them. But, there, but the, the problem is in why it's hard to retain this generation is because unfortunately, they are more concerned with authenticity than they are with ritual. What do I mean? They don't do too well with fake things. They, they want authenticity. It doesn't, even, it doesn't even matter if it's grandiose or something like that. They want the sometimes hardcore truth. This is just the truth of Generation Z, which we're dealing with. God hasn't changed. Don't get me wrong. It's the same God yesterday, today, and forevermore. But within every generation, there comes a way to minister to them that takes them to the foot of the cross, all right, in a way that they can understand it. For instance, if I started quoting, and I'm not going to, but if I started quoting, whither so thouest thou cometh in the betwitched hour of the evening, You got what auntie said? You have no idea, right? You have no idea what I said. And the truth is that a lot of things have went over their heads. And some of you young adults can be honest with me. You say, we kind of told you to just believe it and don't ask us no question. Oh, y'all not going to be with me either? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all better, better be with me tonight. All right, okay. But tonight we're going to do some fun things. We're going to kind of break up into groups and do some things that I hope will give you some, some energy and some drive to really be all that God would like for you to be. So I'm just going to start off with the question, and then we're going to rock and roll. Do we have that video that's – okay. I'll let you know in just a moment when, when we'll show that. So, really quick poll. When you hear the word church, okay, when you hear the word church, what are some words that come to mind, okay? So, for this group, when you hear the word church, what are some words that come to mind? Just shout them out. God. Jesus, the Bible. People, worship, praise, singing. A building. What else? What comes to your mind when you think when when you think of church? Okay, now, now we're starting to get real. Like I was like, oh that's cute. God and Jesus and the Bible and, and Holy Spirit. Okay, somebody said three hours of service, rules. What else? Judgment, organ organ music. Hymnals? What was that? Somebody said something? Religion. Religion. Okay. What else? Shouting. You said mean? Oh. Attitudinal. Now, I'm not going to say that's in the dictionary, but I do like it. I do like that word. Anything else? What about you guys? What do you think about when you hear the word church? 
What's the first thing that pops in your mind? Hmm? Did you say strict? What did you say? Nothing. Okay. What, what comes to your mind when you hear the word church? Your grandma. Okay. Okay. This, no, this is good. We're going. I hope we're all right. This is good. I've heard God, Jesus, Bible, three hours, mean, boring. Ooh. She said boring. Why you start laughing? Because you thought it. But she just wasn't bold enough to say it. Because mom and them up in here, and you was like, I ain't about to get, it's too close to school time. I ain't about to get in no trouble. Boring, okay. Any other words that come to mind? Chicken. Ain't nothing like a good chicken dinner, right? Anything else from this front row when you hear the word church? Okay, I want all of us to keep in mind what you've heard. Okay. Now, what do you think of when you hear the word God? Knowing power, Father. omniscient Father. Pleasure. Say it again, love. Pleasure. Yeah. What did you? Gangster. Gangster. Uh, Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what did you? Did one of you say something that I didn't hear? What do you think of when you think of the word God? Sometimes looking down. Looking down. You said Jesus. Mm-hmm. What else do you think of when you think of God? Love. Yeah. Believe. Say it again, baby. Believe. Believe. Anything Believe. else? Say it again. Protection. Why do you think I asked you what seems like super easy questions? Why would I ask you something like that? Hmm. Say that again. This is true. The truth is, in what she just said, that I should have heard possibly, it could be a possibility that the same person that said love for God probably should have said love for church. Because we are supposed to find God at church. Is anybody, are you guys following me or have I, have I lost you? Okay, you're still with me. Not to say that we're not, but the same person that said everywhere or Jesus should say the same thing as relates to church, right? Because those two things should be intertwined, okay? That should be the representation that you guys get and that you share with others when you're talking about church. When was the last time pre-pandemic, let's just think about pre-pandemic because everybody hasn't been back yet. How many of you can remember inviting somebody to church? Hmm, okay. I'm gonna ask her a question, it's okay. I saw, she's like, man, auntie, stop picking on me. What What is it? There was a certain motion that you took on when I said, when was the last time you invited some, or when did you invite somebody to church? You were like, what made you think that? Or what what made that come to you? Would you invite anybody to church, you think? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, probably. What was that that was like, oh, I don't know. What was that feeling that came about that made you do that? Do you feel like there's something weird about inviting people to church? No. Have you ever tried inviting people to church? And why is that? Have you invited some friends to a party? Like a birthday party? Yeah. And to go hang out, maybe you got permission to go hang out at the park or, you know, to play games. Have you invited friends to do that? You would invite people to church, but you haven't, right? Why? I know this seems like really deep and that I'm, I'm like going in. But the bottom line is if this row, about half said they had, and this row said none of them have, 
take note. There's something that has to shift and has to focus in order for our young people to feel like it's a cool thing to invite some people to church. It's a cool thing to have people want to come to church with me or want to do church with me. But what happens when I associate, and we're going to shift from here because it got a little cold, um, but <laughs> um, it's hard if we don't understand what the church is and we don't completely understand who God is. And sometimes we take it for granted that everybody gets that. And we don't have these real moments where we're like, hey, let's talk about this. So I'm going to share this with you real quick, and then we're going to shift so I won't lose your attention, all right? So when I was in high school, about a few years ago, just a few years ago, when I was in high school, um, I was, so check this out. I'm a pastor's kid. So that means I was like born and raised in this thing. All right. So I went, I happened to go to an all girls school. <laughs> all, the way y'all just threw shade was just real. <laughs> that was real shady the way y'all threw shade. I went to an all girls school. But the funny thing is there was an all boys school close by. So at the end of school time, all the girls, not mine, but all the girls' skirts would go hiked up and the boys would happen to come over from their school. It was a hot mess. But while I was in high school, I had an encounter with God. To be honest, I was around church for a long time and I just knew how to do it, but I really didn't, I, I really wasn't as into it as uh, most would think. But bottom line is, here I am, baby boy, and I am 15 years old, and I have an experience with God that changes my life. Literally, I have an encounter with God where I receive Holy Spirit at 15 years old. I thought it was, I thought it was crazy. Like, I would see people speaking in tongues, doing all that crazy stuff. I'd be like, y'all can do it. I ain't going <laughs> to. Nope. That's, that's off. And one day, I had an encounter with God, and I was filled with the Holy Spirit. That's stuff we can talk about at a different time. But it changed my life to the point where I went back to my school and I asked them if I could start a gospel choir at an all-girls Catholic school. And so the principal looked at me and was like, uh, a gospel choir. Uh, we've never had one of those here. Here's what, I'll, here's what I'll do, and I'm talking about creativity. Here's what I'll do. If you can get 15 people to agree with you and to to um, believe in whatever you're saying, and you guys can perform at the Christmas Mass, and you know, it works, we can consider if you guys can be a, a, a club here. Now the wrong thing you do is give me a challenge. That's the wrong thing to do. And I learned that really young. Remember I said I was 15. So the choir sung, and they sung like this, this, this Kirk Franklin song. And there was, I was the only African-American, a part of the choir. So that blew their minds too, right? And the principal, at that time, the principal began to weep because she didn't understand completely what was going on. Fast forward, within a year, watch this, within a year the choir had grow, grown to be 50 students. And they had been nominated, watch this, um, through a program to go to something called Magic Music Days at Disneyland. So here I am, about 15, 16 years old, and I have a choir of 50, 50 students that are my peers and a little bit older that have now been put into a position where they're able to go and sing at Disneyland, and I become like mama to my peers. Okay? Here's what Disney says. You can come, but you can't do all that Jesus stuff. You can't, you can't sing, you, you know, we're, we're not allowing you to sing about Jesus and Christ and God. That is not a part of the rules, or, or that's a part of the rules. You guys can definitely come. What are we talking about? What's the word I said? Creativity, okay? So I said, oh, okay. We can't sing any songs that have Christ Jesus? No. So in your audition, you need to make sure that your songs reflect what you're going to sing. Okay, amazing, 
amazing grace how sweet the sound and i arranged it that so we did an arrangement of amazing grace huh because jesus and christ wasn't in it but it still had the gospel in it oh okay cool we can't do that so then i said hmm i need about 10 songs swing low Adam, the sweet Bria, coming forth to carry me. And so I'm gonna make it a do- I'm gonna make it a dope arrangement. So we did. We shall overcome. I wasn't phased by the fact that they told this gospel choir that they couldn't sing no gospel music. Yeah. Nothing with God or Christ. I asked creativity to show me what to do. For three years straight, this choir went back and forth to Disneyland, where when I graduated, the choir was 100 students. Okay? I'm not saying that to toot my horn. I'm really trying to get you, like, motivated to know what you can do. That ain't it, because guess what? After I graduated, they hired me back just to run the club. Because it became a safe haven for students that when the counselors were having problems with people um, wanting to take their lives and having all these issues, they would send them to choir rehearsal. And their lives would be changed. It wasn't at church, but the God of the church that I went to begin to spring up in me in my community so I was able to bring that to my peers in a way that after a while they started asking me, can I go to your church or something with you? My parents are Buddhist, but they said I could come with you to that that church we practice at sometimes. What's my point? My point is that you're not too young for God to use your gifts to make massive moves in your community, in your schools, and in your church. You're not too young. And so with that, we're going to shift in a second. You're going to watch what's on the screen. But I want to ask you, what are some of the arts that you love to do? We're about to get ready to shift for a second. What are some of the arts that you like to do? What do you like to do? Hey, Charles, she said act. You'll find out why I laughed at that. Okay, you'll find out in a second why I laughed at that. What about you? You like fine art. What about you? You like, okay, girl, tell me what you like. You like to do a lot, so tell me something you like to do. You said what? Painting, so fine art. What you like to do? Photography. I'm going to get back to that. Go ahead. Coding. So you got, you got drawing, fine arts, photography, coding, all sitting in the first two, four, five rows of this sanctuary, which are things that are making massive moves for the kingdom right now. What do you like to do, love? You like drawing anything that comes into your mind? Okay, I'm going to definitely need paper then. Yes. Say it again. Painting. Okay. Love, tell me. What you like doing? I knew that. I was going to say spoken word. So, okay. Singing, singing, performing arts in general, okay? Painting, okay? Oh. Now, pause for one second. I'm gonna I'm come back to everything else. So do you, do you study it? Do you do? You're about to go into school for it? So, um, but do you already do some of it on people? Okay. Okay. I'm going to come back to that too. Uh, digital content creator or digital 
Did you say digital content creator? We're going to talk after this here night, okay? And fitness. All of these gifts are needed in the body of Christ. Because church is not just what you see up here. Everything that you said is part of what is needed in the body of Christ to be activated. How many of you go to this church? Raise your hand if this is your church home. Okay. So a lot of that is right here in this church. All right. Now what you see up on the screen real quick, two weeks ago, watch this baby girl. During the pandemic, I wrote a play. Okay. And so um, God gave me like this, this play in the middle of pandemic and told me that, yeah, you're going to do this in a big theater. Do you see a problem with that? We were in a pandemic where everybody was shut down in 2020, and he says, I'm giving you a play that you're going to perform in front of a lot of people in two years. I'm like, what? He's like, right. But it started off on me doing like a Bible study by myself for 14 days, and then I wrote 15 songs in the, in the midst of that. Two weeks ago, the vision came to pass. And this play happened at the Lesher Center of the Arts in Walnut Creek. Now, the Lesher Center of the Arts is one of the premier stages here in the Bay Area. Some of the most well-known artists perform there. Here's another thing. It is very prestigious to the point where they don't let a lot of us in. Okay? Okay? So wrote this play, and what you can't see is that in this play, there are African Americans, there were Asians, uh, specifically Filipino, there were Hispanics, there were like Middle Eastern, and I'm missing one, represented in the cast. And now I'm going to blow your mind. When they first came, all of them weren't Christians and they were doing a faith-based play. But God told me that there was gonna be some that would come through that were not Christians, and that I was to embrace them, and bring them in, and allow them to be a part of this production. There were some things that, if I were to tell you lifestyles and things, you would be mind blown that I allowed this to be so. But guess what happened? You ready? You're like, until you're talking a lot, you said we was going to do more than this. While we were in rehearsal, some of the people that were not Christians began to give their lives to Christ. Some of the people that had walked away from God because they were presented this opportunity started giving their lives back to Christ. So what you're about to see here is the final day of the performance. And you might see, if you see that person with a hat, have you guys ever heard the guy that he goes, Jesus Christ, we love you, God? Have you seen him before? You never seen him, Mike Servin? Okay, well, he was in the production. He's like Instagram famous or something of that matter. This is what happened at the end of the final day. Mind you, atheists came to Christ during the play. Acting. Let's see what happened.
that was at a play. What my assignment tonight to do is to stir up the greatness of your creativity in you. To know that that wasn't something just special for me to do, but it lies within your coding. <laughs> and it lies within your ability to do fine arts. And it lies within your ability to do acting and singing. So I have some other things, but we're not going to get into that. We're going to get into breaking you off into groups, and we're going to create a theme. I really need a piece of paper um, and something to write on. I want all of you to say this as an affirmation. I am created in the image of God. I am created in the image of God. I don't believe you. Say it again. I am created in the image of God. I, am in the image of God. I have his creativity within me. My dreams and desires come from God. He will help me accomplish them. All right. As I listen to the creator within, I am led. I want you to say this real loud, everybody. All the, these two rows standing up. So we're about to move. Say this. Creativity is God's will for me. Say it again. Creativity is God's will for me. I serve God with creativity. I am willing to use my creative talents for the Lord. My creativity helps me and others. I am allowed to nurture myself um, by creating art. There is a divine plan of goodness for me. All right, sit down and let's get ready to work. And I'm going to break you off. So here's what's going to happen. Everybody that is, how, how many singers did we have? How many are sticking to singing? Okay, singing, singing. Okay, singing. I'm going to put the three of you together in one moment. Actually, the three of you. If it's okay, can they grab chairs and come around this area? Is that okay for them to move it? chairs? Okay. So if the three of them can come around this area, acting and spoken word rap, you're going to be together. Okay? All right? Um, let me put you, can I put you two right here? Okay, so you can go over there. Um... Let me see. Drawing. Everybody that was into drawing, painting, the like. So if you said drawing, painting. Yes, baby. Oh, you changed yours. Tell me. What would you like to do? Okay, hold on one second. What do you want to change yours to? Okay. Doing nails. Okay, so... You may have to draw some of that tonight if that's what you want to change yours to. Okay? So you want to you wanna do like cosmetology type things is what you're thinking for tonight? Because there's going to be like an activity we're about to do. That's what you want to do? Okay. Okay. Um, so singing is going to be here. Um, and and y'all, I, I actually want you to go, go a little bit more distance because you're going to need... You're going to need some space and some time. Um, let's see. We had drawing. How many of you said drawing? Yes, baby. What did you want to change yours to? Oh, you want to change the rap? Okay, you go over there with that group. Perfect. Everybody that said they want to draw, where are you at? Y'all, we just declared a whole lot about creativity. I don't see this. I see you got to give me some real hands. Where, where is drawing? Okay, so one, two, and then where was cosmetology? Cosmetology, somebody else said cosmetology of some sort? No? Okay, so those that said drawing, let's put them back in that corner over there. There's a table set up in there? Okay, we can use that space too. Um, if that's okay, or would you prefer for 
all of the activity to be in in there, Pastor? Oh, no, just for, for one of the groups? Okay. My office, awesome. Woo woo! Great, great. Okay, drawing. Let me. You're gonna stay here for a moment, but we're gonna take you to where the table is. Okay, coding. I'm gonna put you with. Um, have you taken any classes in coding yet? You do a little bit? Cool, cool. I'm going to give you a specific assignment. I'm going to want you to go with, with the, the painting and the drawing people, okay? All right, when it's time. Sweetie, what did you say that you do? Photography. Do you have a cell phone? Okay. Make sure you have your cell phone on hand, all right? Because you're going to use it, all right? Now, young adults, I didn't get all, I'm trying to remember. You said singing, right? So you're going to be over here. What did you say, love? Okay, come on over here. Performing arts in general. Which one do you want to go to? Do you want to go to acting? Do you want to go to singing? Do you want to do dance? What you want to do, boo? She's going to go to singing tonight? Okay. You said painting? Okay, so I'm going to put you with the, with the drawing. And then you said cosmetology, right? Okay. I need, is this all the pencils and pens we have? Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the, I'm going to put the cosmetology wing. I'm going to put you with painting for the, for tonight. And I'm going to give you an assignment. And sweetie, what was yours again? Digital content. You have your cell phone with you. Okay. All right. Perfect. So what we're going to do in the next 30, 20 minutes, how long do I have? 20, 20 minutes? 30 minutes. Okay. Okay. What time are we at? Eight oh, it's 8 o'clock. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to do, we're going to do 30 minutes. Okay. We're going to come up really quickly with some themes that we're going to create with. I, I hope y'all excited because this is about to be the bomb. This is about to be fun. What we're going to do. Okay. So your theme is. Great, con um, greatness, give it to me. Generational, Generational greatness. Okay, that's the theme for this weekend, all right? So what are some things, when you hear that, when you hear that, what are some things you think of? Generational greatness. What do you think of? Legacy. Legacy? Okay. Oh, let me get another pen. Legacy. Come on. Come on. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Legacy. Throw some more words out. Legacy. Oops. I don't need this anymore. Legacy. Family. 